and eggy wakey coffee woofy toasty woosty. She says, here's your apple juice, and the doctor wants you to fill this bottle. So she left everything with me and went out of the room. And I thought to myself, I'll fix her. She'll never talk to me like that again. So you know what I did? I took the apple juice and I poured it in a bottle. She comes back in five minutes later, takes the bottle, holds it by the window. She says, my, we are a little cloudy this morning, aren't we? When I took it back, I said, well, I gotta run it through again, and I drank. <laughs> she fainted right there on the floor. Then he's a uh, humanitarian. Oh yeah, he read that it costs $10 a year to feed a kid in India. So he sent his kids over there. <laughs> And then he asked me if I would do a Polish joke. I said, Mark, I don't want to do that because that's not fair to the Polish people. They've been picked on for so many years, it's not right. So tonight I was thinking, why don't we pick on a group no one's ever picked on before? The Apaches. <laughs> so instead of telling you a Polish story, I like to tell you an Apache story, okay? Yeah. It goes like this. This Apache was born in Poland. <laughs> No, I just came back from Florida. I was in Florida visiting my uncle. He's 95 years old. I don't know, a lot of people, I'm sure you've been in Florida. You notice there's no mountains, it's flat. I mean, I think it's the flattest state in the country. You know, you can watch your dog run away for two weeks. <laughs> my uncle's 95 years old. You know what he does every night? He goes to singles bars. Yeah. They got singles bars for senior citizens in Florida. The pickup joints, they're all over the place. And you know what the most popular pickup line is for senior citizens in the singles bar? The most popular pickup line goes like this. Do I come here often? <laughs> But this is wonderful to be here. This really is. <laughs> Everything's expensive. I went to a barber shop. I said to the guy, how much for a haircut? He said, $25. I said, how much for a shave? He said, a buck and a quarter. I said, all right, shave my head. <laughs> now, fellas, I'm going to talk to the guys here. Man. You know the expression, a dog is a man's best friend, right? Huh? I'm going to prove to you that this is true. A dog is a man's best friend. And here's how I'm going to show you. Here's what you do. You get your dog. You open the trunk of your car. Make sure it's a Mercedes. <laughs> you open the trunk of your car. You put your dog in there and you slam it down. Then you go get your wife. You open up the trunk. You put her in there with the dog and you slam down the trunk. You leave it down for an hour. An hour later, you open it up. Who's happy to see you? <laughs>